AP Physics, this is the second lesson in the summer assignment. It's on speed and velocity. So what is speed? Speed is the distance you go in a certain unit of time. The formula for the average speed or velocity of an object is that average speed equals uh, distance over time, or we can express that as d over t. d is the abbreviation for distance, t is the abbreviation for time. What are the units of measure for speed? The unit of measure for speed can be any measure of distance divided by any measure of time. The most common one is meters per second, uh, and but there are others. Miles per hour is one that you're more familiar with. Yards per minute, centimeters per day, feet per year. Those are all units of measure for speed, distance over time. Speed is the distance you go in a certain amount of time. So if Manuel runs 50 meters in 10 seconds, what is his average speed? So the change in his distance, his distance was 50 meters. The change in time was 10 seconds. Therefore, the average speed is going to be 50 meters divided by 10 seconds, which would be five meters per second. If Manuel walks 30 meters in, ten, in 30 seconds, then runs 50 meters in 10 seconds, what is his average speed? So you have to add the distances in this case to get the total distance, that's 80 meters. Then you add the times to get the total time it took him. And then you apply the formula just as you did in the last problem, it's 80 meters in 40 seconds. So that's going to equal two meters per second. So again, speed is the distance you go in a certain amount of time. Now speed does not care about direction. So this runner is going eight meters per second to the south, and the runner on the right is going eight meters per second to the north. So the question is, are they going the same speed? And the answer is yes, both are going eight meters per second. With speed, direction does not matter. Velocity is the distance you go in a certain amount of time and in a particular direction. Velocity does care about direction. So again, same situation, the runner on the left is going eight meters per second to the south, the runner on the right is going eight meters per second to the north, are they going the same velocity? And in this case, the answer is no. Both are going in different directions. So with velocity, direction does matter. So velocity is what's called a change in position over time, which is delta x, and that triangle is a Greek letter delta, which in science means change in, change in position over time. So change in position delta x is the straight line distance between where you started and where you ended. Change in position is also called displacement. The Greek letter delta means change in. So Luis walks from point A to point B point C and then stops at point C. So he's walking along the green arrows that you see below, A to B and then B to C. And he does that in 50 seconds. The distances are shown in the diagram. So what is his distance? Well, he walked a total distance of 100 plus 100 or 200 meters. So speed is distance divided by time. So total distance is 200 meters and he did those 200 meters in 50 seconds, so that's four meters per second for his speed. Now, what is his change in position? That's the distance along the dashed yellow line. He did not walk that path, but that's how far he ended up from where he started. That's what change of position means. What is his average velocity? Well, it's 150 meters divided by 50 seconds, same amount of time is three meters per second. So you can see in this case that speed and velocity are different. By the way, change in position also goes by the name displacement, and that's the word we will use most often in this class for change in position is displacement. Velocity is a distance you go in a certain unit of time and in a particular direction. Velocity cares about direction. The velocity can be changed by either one, making the object speed up or slow down, or two, changing the direction of the object. So that one is key because it's the one that most, most of the time you don't think about. We understand velocity is speed and that the changing the speed will be changing the velocity, but it's also a change in direction. 
If a car is going at 10 miles per hour and turns a corner and continues to go 10 miles per hour the entire time, then its speed did not change. It's 10 miles per hour, but its velocity did change because it changed direction. So generally we do not distinguish between speed and velocity. So V over D, V equals D over T is, this, is pretty much in this class for straight line uh, displacement is delta X over T. For the rest of the course, we will treat speed and velocity as the same thing for the most part. Okay, and that takes care of our lesson on speed and velocity.